This is a salp, a transparent fish-like creature that can change its biological sex, clone itself, move using jet propulsion, and most importantly for us, save the world. The salp is a barrel-shaped transparent ocean creature that might just be the strangest animal on the planet. First of all, it has a transparent body and a full digestive system, a feature that will be very important later on. The salp moves through water using jet propulsion. It does this by contracting its jelly-like body in order to pump water through it and thus move forward. This simple motion is as far as we know the most efficient mode of jet propulsion in the animal kingdom. However, when it comes to this strange feature, this is only the beginning. Salps have an incredibly complex and strange life cycle, but we can break it down by starting with a single salp. Let's name her Brianna. Brianna clones herself to form multiple other salps that connect in a chain and grow together. Let's also call all of them Brianna. All of these cloned salps are female and they contain one embryo that needs to be fertilized by a male salp. So when a single Brianna gets her egg fertilized by a male salp, more salp are born and released to clone themselves. After all this, Brianna, who is at this point an adult, switches her biological sex and can now be called Brian. Brian will now go on to fertilize the eggs of younger female salps and the process will repeat itself. What's even crazier is that the salp technically has a brain, but it only does so during its larval stage. Once they become adults, they lose that brain and become brainless. But even without a brain, I'm sure that they could make a decision as straightforward as subscribing. All in all, salps are the fastest growing animals as they can reach full maturity in just 48 hours after they are born. So, how do salps contribute to saving the world? Well, it all starts with another separate tiny creature. This is a phytoplankton a microscopic organism that feeds on carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. They do this through photosynthesis, just like plants. Many animals feed on phytoplankton, digest them, and release them back into the ocean, where the carbon dioxide goes back either inside the ocean or into the atmosphere. Salps, however, have something neat up their sleeve. Poop. When salps digest phytoplankton, they poop them out like any other organism with a digestive system. This poop essentially traps the carbon that was absorbed by the phytoplankton, and because of its heavy density, the poop sinks, thus trapping atmospheric carbon deep at the bottom of the ocean in the form of poop, cleaning our air and thus saving our ecosystems. Keep in mind that salps are many, and at times their colonies can cover areas bigger than some countries, with millions upon millions of salps, the process of them eating and locking up away atmospheric carbon happens all the time and in huge amounts. It is estimated that the amount of carbon cleaned up by salps per day is 100 metric tons. For comparison, this amount of carbon removal is equal to taking 7,500 cars off the road. And on the highest rate of carbon absorption, the salps are doing work that would be equal to taking 28,000 cars off the road. Now that you know, Remember to like and subscribe!